Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 4th of September to the 8th of September 2017. Starting with the US dollar index and oil, we're going to run through a number of currency pairs looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. And we're also going to highlight some of the targets that we're looking for in this coming week or weeks ahead. So let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index, we can see that last week the US dollar index tagged the 11841 target that we had down here before bouncing up and rejecting from the area of resistance we had highlighted the 11940. We can see that this is also the downward sloping trend line here. And as a result, we go into this week with a bearish bias on the US dollar index. And as long as the US dollar index can stay below the 11,940 area of resistance and also this downward sloping trend line, we're going to look to the target of 11,841 again to the downside. And we're also going to look to the target to the downside of the 11,776. Now, should we get a break above the key area of resistance at 11,940, we do have a target to the upside at the 12,070, next key area of resistance in the US dollar index to the upside. But just remember, as long as it remains below this key area of resistance, we're going to look for shorts and weakness in the US dollar index next week. Next, we're going to have a look at oil. Now, oil is sitting at the key area of resistance over here. It's confluence of the downward sloping trend line, as you can see, denoted by these highs over here. And also this horizontal level of support and resistance at roughly the 47.30 area over here. And as a result, we are looking for continued weakness in oil next week. As long as we can stay below this confluence area of resistance of the downward sloping trend line in the horizontal resistance area, we're going to be looking for weakness in oil and we're going to be looking down towards the 4500 psychological area. And we're going to be looking to initiate shorts in oil itself next week if we maintain ourselves below this key area of resistance. The first pair we're going to look at is Euro US dollar. Now last week Euro US dollar traded first of all into the target that we had here at the 1.19680 and as you can see it came up and tagged our second target almost to the pip at the 1.20670 before reversing back down to the key area of support at the 1.18313. Now going into next week, as long as the US dollar index stays below the downward sloping trend line and as long as the euro US dollar stays above the 1.18313, we're going to be looking to initiate longs in the euro US dollar and we're going to be looking to initiate those longs up towards the target of the 1.21050. And then we also have a target beyond that at the 1.21650. As you can see, it looks like it's coming back down to retest this key area of support. And if we start to see bullish formations and patterns appearing in this area, we're going to look to initiate longs as long as it stays above this key area of support in the euro US dollar. The next pair we're going to look at is the pound US dollar. Now the pound US dollar last week or the week before broke out of this downward sloping trend line here after this big move to the downside. And we found a rejection from the bottom at the 1.27893. Now on a bounce from this low down here, you can see we came up to the resistance area at the 1.29396 over here. And we've been kind of bouncing around this area since last week. We finished last week above this key area of resistance. So going into this week, if we see weakness in the US dollar index, we are looking to initiate longs in the pound US dollar. And we're looking first of all to a target of the key area resistance of the 1.30318 and also as you can see the upward sloping neckline of this head and shoulder pattern here so there's a nice confluence area over here in the pound to the upside if we get a break of this confluence of resistance over here we are going to be looking to the next target to the upside at the 1.3100 psychological area if, however, we start to see strength coming into the US dollar index, and if, for example, the US dollar index starts to break to the upside, we will likely see this breaking back down below this key area of resistance over here, in which case we will be looking in this area for shorts in the pound US dollar. If we get that US dollar strength, we'll be looking for shorts 
down towards the bottom here at the 1.27893. The next pair we're going to look at is the Aussie US dollar. Now the Aussie US dollar bounced from the 0 0.78796 uh, three times, once, twice, three times. And it does now look to be heading back towards the targets which we've had highlighted here for a number of weeks now at the 0 0.80381, then up towards the 0 0.8100 psychological area, and then above that the 0 0.81622. Now, if we start to see new highs in the Aussie US dollar, we're going to be looking for pullbacks and we're going to be looking for these targets to the upside in the Aussie US dollar, especially if we see the US dollar index continuing to bounce to the downside from that downward sloping trend line. So in short, we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns to form in the Aussie US dollar pretty much from the opening of next week. And we're going to be looking to the targets which we've had highlighted here now for a number of weeks in the Aussie US dollar. The next pair we're going to look at is a New Zealand US dollar. Now, the New Zealand US dollar broke below the key area of support, the 0 0.72016 last week. And since then, we have this continuation pattern to the downside bearish flag. So going into this week, we are looking for further declines in the New Zealand US dollar. And we are looking to the downside of the 0 0.71091 and also secondarily to the 0 0.70640. Now you can see that we have had a tag and a retest of the 0 0.72016 where we can see key support being broken and becoming resistance. So we could start to see these shorts coming in pretty much from the open of next week and we'll be looking for the bearish formations and patterns to form in this area to take advantage of any declines that we're expecting next week. The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar Japanese yen. Now the US dollar Japanese yen has been in a downtrend for quite a while as you can see. Last week we were looking for some shorts from the key area of resistance at the 109.774 and we were looking down to the area of the 108.180 and as you can see it came very close to this area before bouncing last week. And as a result we go into this week with price making this kind of bull flag which is a continuation move to the upside and we're also sitting above the key area of resistance over here turn support the 109.774 so as a result we're going to look for bullish formations and patterns to appear in this area and we're going to be looking for initial target at the 110.900 now if the us dollar index starts to decline and we get some weakness in the us dollar index it might mean that we have a weak us dollar and a weak japanese yen in which case we could start to see price ranging between these areas here However, if we manage to get a break above the 110.900 and if the US dollar index, for example, breaks out of the downward sloping trend line, we do also have a second target to the upside at the 112 round number over here. If, however, this area of resistance turn support fails, we will be looking for the 108.180 target next week again to the downside. But as long as we stay above the 109.774, we're going to be looking at initiating longs in the US dollar Japanese yen. The next pair we're going to look at is the euro franc. Now the euro franc has made this kind of ABC pattern, this continuation move in the larger time frame, and it started to trend up from the lows over here and it got quite choppy over in this area. Last week, however, we did have a bounce and a rejection from the key area of resistance over here, turning support at the 1.14142. And also this upward slope and trend line denoted by these lows over here. So having rejected from this area of confluence, we are going to look to initiate longs in the euro franc next week. And we're going to be looking up to the first target, the 1.15243. And then we're going to look to the key area of resistance. Next key area of resistance on this pair is the 1.16308 to the upside. The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar CAD. Now last week we were sitting at this key level of support on the US dollar CAD and we said if we get a bounce from here we're going to be looking up towards the 1.25761. Now we tagged this target and we actually reversed back down below there pausing briefly at the key area of support of the 1.24607 before declining to the second target we had highlighted the 1.23515. Now we are expecting further declines in the US dollar index next week so what we would like to see is a pullback and a retest of the key area of support turning resistance to 1.24607 and we're going to look for bearish formations and patterns to form at this key area of resistance 
and we're going to look to initiate shorts down towards the target of the 1.22550. The next pair we're going to look at is the Euro Japanese Yen. Now the Euro Japanese Yen has formed this kind of bull flag which is continuation pattern and we are sitting currently at the key area of resistance around the 130.70 level over here and this is the perfect place to look to initiate longs on the Euro Japanese Yen next week and we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns to form in this area and we're going to look to initiate those longs up towards the first target of the 132.179 and then a secondary target above that at the 133 psychological area. The next pair we're going to look at is New Zealand CAD. Now New Zealand CAD has been in a downtrend and as you can see we are getting the continuation of this move over here. We have passed down below the key area of support and we're looking for this to turn resistance at 0 0.8984. Now, if we get a pullback and a correction into this key area of resistance, this is going to provide the perfect place to look to initiate shorts on the New Zealand CAD. And we're going to look for bearish formations and patterns to form in this area. And we're going to look to initiate those shorts down towards the next key area of support at the 0 0.8776. And the final pair we're going to look at this week is the Euro Pound. Now the Euro Pound has been in a big uptrend and it started to correct last week as you can see down here. And we are sitting currently at a key area of support roughly at the 0 0.9150 area. This is a great place to look to initiate longs. Now if you want to be a little bit more aggressive you can look for bullish formations uh, patterns to appear at this level and look for the breakout and then possibly look to add on a breakout and a pullback to the trend line. However, if you want to be a little bit more conservative, you can wait for the breakout and then look for a pullback in order to initiate longs in this pair. And we're looking to initiate those longs up towards the next key of resistance, which is the 0 0.93801. So that is it from me for this week, guys. And as always, if you like this video, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. I'd like to thank all of you that have already subscribed and who like and share these videos on a regular basis. I hope you all had a great weekend. I hope you all have a fantastic week next week. Take care and don't forget to trade safely.